the configuration procedure of the Eurosense Dominator Bluetooth fuel level sensor. At first, download Eurosense Dominator application from Play Market and install it on your smartphone. You need Android version 8 on your. Provide the application with all required access rights and restart the application. Registration form appears. Please fill in this form and send it via email to our mailbox. After several hours, your registration form is going to be completed. Open Eurosense Dominator Configurator application in Play Market again and click Update. Now you are ready to use Configurator as authorized service person. In the Message section, you can monitor the data from Bluetooth sensors located nearby. The sensor can work in two modes, data advertising or normal mode and configuration mode. In the information tab, configurator displays the sensor have entered the configuration mode recently. To put the sensor into configuration mode, you need to use the magnet and touch with it the magnet icon on the sensor case. Open sensor details. The sensor doesn't send data every second, so you need to wait a bit. You can see how sensor reacts on level changes. With the Android configurator, you can make the sensor calibration and the tank calibration. Sensor calibration is needed after sensor cutting if you want to get the signal proportional to fuel level. Push calibration button. The blue lines are already stored in the sensor and the red line is current detector value at the given moment. Right column is fuel level in percent. 0% is for an empty tank and 100% stands for a full tank. When the sensor is not filled with fuel, push the row with zero level and click Calibrate Empty. And save to sensor. Now you can calibrate sensor full. Immerse the sensor fully into fuel. You can use special tube for this. And wait for the stabilization of detector values. Add a new row with plus icon. Open this row and push the button Calibrate Full. Save the values to the sensor. In most cases, customer wants to see fuel volume data, not fuel level. In this case, you have to calibrate the fuel tank. This procedure includes sensor calibration too, so you may skip the steps mentioned before. Put the sensor into an empty tank, delete all rows of the calibration table and add the first row. It corresponds to an empty tank and zero volume. Then add the portion of fuel, for example 5 liters, and save new point after the stabilization of detector values. Then add next portion and next point. Keep adding fuel portions till the highest level of tank. You can set up the fuel portion volume as you need. Normally we have about 20 or 30 points per tank. 
More points are necessary for irregular shaped fuel tanks. After tank calibration is finished, save data to sensor. Change averaging period constant to 32 or 64 to have smooth data. And save data to sensor. The sensor configuration is finished. Push disconnect button to leave the configuration mode.